a juice fasting liquid milk tomato juice sugarless smoothie okay so don't invite me Tuesday or Wednesday for lunch and dinner if you want to invite me bring me juice <laughs> and then word of God okay testifying to the divinity of Christ and the truth of the scriptures whatever Jesus says in the Bible is the truth he said that I believe we don't twist his word the more you, you have an intimate relationship with God there is no such a thing so you have to know the heart of people who is saying bitterly negatively always complaining about God and church his life I am nothing there is nothing good for me in his heart there is no relationship with God Supernatural ministry, experiencing the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm not asking to pray four to six hours. But as you pray constantly, you could hear His voice. You could do prophecy. Gift of prophecy. You will foretell. You could foretell what is going to happen to your life, to other bodies' life, and to this church. I want you to experience that. Some of you already experienced that. A lot of things happen to this church. Healing, popping, a lot of things you already saw that with your own eyes. And you ask, what is going on here? Are they cold? Many people say, the only choice is you live like a cult or for one cult means they don't understand about you that's why they say cult for one thing because you're always in the front line God only knows what you're doing five and times preparing the bride with urgency of the Lord's return So this one, God is commanding NFC, the praying church. We are going to intercede, not only this area, not only this church, but other church in this area and across the whole world. That's why you need to pray for your own country too. For salvation, because of urgency intimacy because of urgency preparing ourselves for the bride because of urgency we don't know when he will come back only father knows our end date but for sure he said I will come get ready see we need to pray for other churches as well just let them awake and pray and be a part of this God's big picture well this is not the time that we focus on our issues look at the big picture you know which which chapter it says I think it's saying my house is the house of prayer Jesus said that Oh, it's a Matthew, Matthew 21. Thirteen. The scripture declare, My temple will be called a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. You know, context, 
maybe change, right? We don't sell animals, animals in the church. But we sell drugs in the church. We sell lies in the church. What's the difference? We sell perversion in the church. Harsh word. What's the difference? God says, my temple called to be a house of prayer. But don't misunderstand. He's not talking about the, the building. We as an individual, it's a temple. We are the house of prayer. So as we come together, it's a big house. You know, he already prophesied in the Old Testament. Go to Isaiah 62, verse 6. Sixty-two, verse six and seven. O Jerusalem, I have posted watchmen on your walls. They will pray day and night continually. The watchman's job is not just watching the building. He prays day and night. And take no rest. All you will pray to the Lord. Seven, give the Lord no rest until he completes his work. Until he makes Jerusalem the pride of the earth. When you go to Revelation, when he comes, new Jerusalem, new nation coming down from New heaven, house of prayer. We need to live our life like a forerunners, just like the John the Baptist. We need to pray fervently, without ceasing. See, there is a place called International House of Prayer in Kansas City. Ten years ago. One pastor with 20 people, they started pray 24 hours, 7 days. Of course, they took a turn every 3 hours, but without ceasing. It's been 10 years. Now, God is bringing people. Revival is coming. They have a convention every year called One Thing. This year, 20,000 people come, came. Young people, not like me. 18, 19, 20, all college kids. 20,000. And they dedicated and they committed their life to live a form one. So that's the now big picture what God is moving, His Spirit, to here and there. And California is coming. We need to prepare our hearts. If you pray at least two hours a day, you will, God will reveal His giftedness to you. Do you know many people be healed? Many people see His vision? The prophecy will be revealed. A lot of miracles. That's a supernatural ministry. That's a supernatural power. We want to experience and taste how good He is. How promising He is. But under one condition. If you don't do it, you will never experience who God is. That's for sure. I cannot force you to do that. But by, with your own willingness, God will be pleased. But these things, God commanded us through me. NFC is going to be the praying church. We'll do that from now on.